Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gerald and today we'll be talking to you all about what I wish I had known before I started exercising. Just based off on my experience and what I've learned throughout the years and if I just had done, done it right, you know, do it right, know exactly what I'm working with, I just would have had the best results and I'm not saying my results now aren't good but it could have been better. Before I start, let me just say, I hate the word diet because when I think of diet, I think of restrictions, chicken salads. Diet is such a very restrictive word that we think of. I personally like to think of diet as a lifestyle change, a lifestyle habit, okay? It's a lifestyle change to make us happy, to make us healthy, to make us fit, and to enjoy the journey. I feel like the number one thing, like the number one important tip newbie gains all right i did not know that was a thing newbie gains are when you start working out and that's when you see the most progress yeah like between your first one to two years of working out or like trying to lose weight trying to gain weight trying to gain muscle you know whatever aspect that you have your goals in for so that's when you see the most results so if when i was a billionaire i was doing it pretty well but then i fell off and there's certain things that I'm going to discuss in this video that I wish I just had known because if I had known, man, I would be unstoppable. I think this is why God didn't want me to know this before because whew, I would have I would have had the body I wanted for sure. Okay, so to start that off, diet. Um, as we all know, abs are made in the kitchen. You know, if you eat crappy, the results you're going to make, it's going to... It's gonna show, it's gonna reflect. It's gonna reflect on your uh, performance, on your energy, the way you look. It's important that you implement a diet that's made for you and will make you happy. Before you click off this video, hear me out. There are many, 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 many kinds of diets out there. Please, just do your research. If it makes you happy to not do a diet, but you want that body, Pick a side, like you're, it's unrealistic to not have a goal in your diet and then have a goal in the gym and then you get upset that they don't meet because hello, you need to eat accordingly to what your goals are. There's so many kinds of diets, paleo, keto, vegan, fits your macros or not even having a diet, just counting your calories or just eating, changing your lifestyle habits to eating a bit healthier, less sugary foods omitting cokes or like sugary foods or snacks like it's as simple as that you make baby steps all right know what you're putting in your body know what your goals are whether you want to cut maintain bulk whatever it is try to find a diet plan that's gonna help you out and attain your goals the second thing so this one is a big one for me especially when i started out working out um i actually was doing pretty good eating right i was eating you know, white rice chicken and like veggies and you know it was all good but if I just had known this guys if I just had known how to engage my muscles you need to have that mind to muscle connection you need to know your body you need to know your muscles and what you're working with and how to activate it and how you know you're working on them when I started out working out in the gym and I would do back dude I would feel it in my my shoulders, my traps, my neck. Like I would feel and during lap pull downs or like uh, cable rows, I would feel it in my neck. Like I would feel it anywhere but my back. And I remember like telling my sister, like, do you feel it? She goes, oh. just because you're doing the motion of that um, exercise doesn't mean you're necessarily working your muscles. And ladies, let me tell you, I know that those glute activation, you know, I know like some people make fun of it, like, oh my god, like booty band workout, so basic, right? Like Instagram, fitness influencers, whatever. If you have a difficult time activating your glutes and engaging them during your workouts, or if you do a squat, you don't really feel it, get yourself some resistance bands and start working on that glute activation. Before, I would be able to deadlift and squat like a plate already and I was only at around like 110 my body weight so I was be able to lift pretty good you know I mean for me at the time doing a plate was like a huge a huge step for me it was awesome because I couldn't barely like squat 
just the bar when I just started. I was barely able to, right? There's a video. If I can find it, I will definitely put it on the screen. But there's a video of me squatting it. And, you know, um, I'm still pretty tiny at the time. It was only, like, in 2016. And my glutes were non-existent. It was as flat as my back. I was a pancake. It was very bad because I didn't know what the hell I was working. I would just squat. I would do like, you know, the norm, like what you normally would do at the gym. But I, the thing is, I, I didn't know how to activate it. I didn't have that mind to muscle connection. So I couldn't engage my glutes. And because of that, it has unfortunately very much delayed my progress in my glutes. So I'm barely getting on track on growing my glutes as far as my legs I feel like it's a lot easier to engage your quads and your hamstrings versus my glutes but that's just me some people are very glute dominant which are very lucky some people are more quad dominant some people are more hamstring dominant it just depends but for me if you have a hard time engaging your muscles know where you're supposed to feel it know the anatomy more or less like what your tricep is, what your shoulders are, your biceps, all that kind of stuff. Look up glute engagement videos, how to feel your glutes or your back in like certain exercises because that will help you and your progress tremendously. Another thing I will say that I wish I had known is as much as we have social media, you know, it's a great way to explore new things, try out new exercises, new meals. Um, there's a lot of different influencers out there, which is awesome, but obviously social media has a big standard on women and what we should look like. It's a standard that a lot of us women try to be or mold ourselves into. I mean, I've fallen into that trap of trying to be like slim, thick or whatever, but I've just learned to love yourself and accept yourself. That's like what I wish I had known because I would constantly beat myself up for not looking like who's that who's that girl that was like back in the day um jen selter i would just be like oh my god like how can i get a butt like her or like how can i look like her or you know i would just always compare myself and i would you know lift all these like you know heavier weights as i would progress in my strength and yet my glutes would not develop and i was just like what's going on but then i realized glute activation is know who you're idolizing and be careful who you're idolizing as much as you know there's so many beautiful women out there you know you can't help but admire which is fine but if you are trying to get to their body shape you know their body type there's so many different kinds of body types there's ectomorph mesomorph and endomorph um definitely google which one you are i'm built tiny i'm built petite i'm not built curvy so i'm always built very straight bodied and I would kind of compare myself to women who are already born curvy naturally. My goals versus someone who's already thick, you know, growing up, it, I'm comparing myself to a standard where I'm never going to be at as an aspect is like me naturally. And what I want to say is careful who you idolize because I would constantly beat myself up over women who would pay for their body. And I mean, it's nothing wrong with getting work done, but it's wrong if you pay for your body and start telling people and advertising your workouts that you don't even do or you maybe you did but didn't get you the results that you have because you paid for that so that's something I would definitely be careful with um, learn to love your body learn to love your progress don't compare yourself to me don't compare yourself to your best friend everybody's body is different um, me for example I've been working out weightlifting since 2016 so it's been about four years and throughout the four years, I mean, obviously I started implementing what I just had said recently. So it's very difficult for me to gain weight and I was around 111. I made it almost to like 114, 115. And within those two years, I was going through some personal matters that I was, it took a toll on me. And mentally, physically, emotionally, I was just not in the best mental state compared to where I am now. And because of that, I actually lost like 10 pounds, like if you're not, I lost 10 pounds within like two to three weeks and as we know, it's recommended like oh, a pound, lose a pound like every one to two weeks. I'm not entirely sure if that's like right, but I know it's obviously not losing 10 pounds within two weeks. It's like five pounds a week. I mean, for me, for like my body, um, 
I don't carry a lot of weight, so losing weight that quick, I was not eating at all. I've obviously overcome that. I'm in a better mental state where I am now. Another way to, I guess, close off this video is throughout your journey, I mean, things can happen in a day, in a month, in a week, in a year, in years, and just so you all know, Whatever happens, make sure that you are surrounded by people who care for you, they love you, they support you, they make you want to be a better person. And if you have anybody in your life that is draining you, that's toxic, that makes you depressed or sad, get rid of them. Because going on a journey um, that's about your health, that's about the way you feel, the way you look. Because obviously when you look good, you feel good. Um, doesn't necessarily mean just because, you know, you have like abs or whatever, you're perfectly fine. It's not the case, but obviously when you start working on your self-confidence, you feel good. If it wasn't for the gym, I probably would be so insecure. I would be very, I wouldn't have the confidence I have today. I wouldn't have the love I have for myself today. So because of having negative people in my life, that definitely took a toll on my, my progress. Um, it's definitely taken a toll on uh, my journey. I feel like I could have been where I could be but obviously you know things happen and things that do happen should mold you to who you are today and that's like a whole different you know topic you know I don't want to get too deep about this but just be careful with who you have in your life I guess that is going to conclude this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm sorry that I got kind of kind of deep I kind of want to relate on a different level other than just saying like drink your water follow the proper diet I just wanted to be a little bit more deeper so that way if anyone needs to hear it and just know whatever hardships you have they will pass and i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you guys next time bye